All right, I would say what's creamy, but if you're watching this, you probably already know. So this is the script I want to show today. Basically, all it does when I hit, let me turn on key casting. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. You're gonna have to believe me. When I hit prefix G in Tmux, it opens up the remote repository for it. So that's the game. And I can also do that with my config. So prefix G, it opens it up. And then I can also do it with any other, like if I have someone else's project, like Rails, for instance, and then I do prefix G, you can see it opens up the equivalent GitHub repository. And that just saves an unbelievable amount of time every day. Like every project I want to go to the GitHub of quickly, which is mostly my configuration because of the channel form, I, uh, I just get to fly there very quickly. And this is a very quick little script. It's just, let's see, open GitHub. So what it does is it just CDs into the, the directory of the current pain path in Tmux. And you could set this up for whatever cell is or whatever other thing you use. And then it uses git remote get URL origin. And then it just runs open with the URL. That's all it is. It's so incredibly simple. And the great part about this, let's see, open GitHub. Oh, this is the one I'm actually using. I'm going to delete that one. There's a more complicated version. So same thing, but... What this does is it makes it work for other remotes, so like Git, GitLab or Azure or any other kind of remote URL thing. And yeah, it's just, it's the best. It saves me like an incredible amount of time every day. Oh, looks like I'm not using that one. Uh, so I have to go into my Tmux and then let's see, GitHub, open GitHub. So it's open underscore GitHub. Actually, I can just rename this. I'm a big fan of kebab case have been ever since I started using types. So now, looks like that works. Sweet. And uh, yeah, while I'm at it, this is really actually the main reason I made this video is, um, so I'm working on this project and uh, Svelte syntax highlighting isn't working and the LSP also isn't respecting TypeScript. And I tried to install like, let's see, where's my RC? So the Svelte language server is installed, Svelte and Svelte server, which is, actually weird that I have both. I don't think I need Svelte. But yeah, when I when I go like TS install and then Svelte, it's like already up to date, but it doesn't work. It doesn't fucking, let me just make this into a session um, so I can reload, restart. Okay, and then source mean. And then yeah, see the tree sitter is not working. And if I go into Mason, which I hate, and then look for Svelte, so I have Svelte language server installed, and if you go into the LSP config, LSP config all, and then let's see, where the LSP, okay, Svelte, so, oh, it is just called Svelte, it's not called Svelte server, that's awkward, okay, so, I mean, I had them both enabled, so it should be fine, but yeah, the, what's it called, it's just not working, and like SFT Svelte, is not making it highlight. So what it gives, man? If you know what, uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that. But do use that script. That script actually makes me like so giddy every time I use it. Yep, that's about it for this one. Catch you next time. I almost forgot, actually, this episode is inadvertently sponsored by this album, and actually Massive Attack in general. Trip Hop is this genre that's super... I think underrated. I mean, they have like 6 million, 8 million monthly listeners. Wait, is it growing? It was just 6 million. Is there, is Trip Hop being revitalized? I don't know. I think this is absolutely great because it's like the dark, druggy ambience of rap. If it was like super intellectual and like all the lyrics were about like discovering kind of the meaninglessness in drugs and like, I don't know. The, the lyrics are just very smart and existential and the uh, production is like very weird which puts most people off, so you can be very pretentious about it. And this song, Five Man Army, I think is like one of the most hype, underrated songs for like, I don't know, it's it's like a weird mix between dub and a bunch of other genres. But yeah, Massive Attack, and particularly this album, is like such an excellent album. I'm, I'm not really listening to music anymore when I do work, but if you want an ambient album that's like dark and druggy, but it's like very, talks about a lot of things. Also, these guys are just like, great guys they donate all their proceeds to charity and stuff like that so yeah go them oops accidentally opened uh